If open beta is your first time playing Throne of Liberty, pay attention, because this video is jam-packed with information that will help you have a smooth experience. And all of this in under 8 minutes. Open beta starts on the 18th July and ends on the 23rd July, meaning it is 2 days shorter than closed beta test, which was 8 days. You can play from PC on Steam and consoles, and it is available to everyone without the need for the VPN. The servers are opening at 5 p.m. UTC and if things go well, I can see them potentially extending the beta for a day or two. The leveling and milestone progression will be much faster, meaning dynamic events and world bosses will unlock fully in the first 2 or 3 days. This is to help Amazon test the game and allow many players to experience the end game and provide valuable feedback. Premium currency Lucent will most likely also be given to every player to use and spend in the cash shop and auction house to buy cosmetic items, gear and materials. If you want to really experience the end game, join a guild ASAP, as there are a lot of dynamic events and world bosses that will also be in conflict mode where you can experience mass PvP at its finest. The schedule for open beta will only have dynamic events, boon stones, rift stones, open world bosses and arch bosses, meaning no castle siege or tax delivery event. This is a very disappointing move from Amazon to not include the most epic in-game content in the open beta and let the masses experience it. But I do understand that they probably didn't include it due to how bad zerging is and how little effort they made to fix it. They hide it so that people don't use the bad experience with Zergs as a negative reason not to play on release, so that makes sense. You will be showered with materials, skill books and gear, so just upgrade all blue gear pieces to plus 9 and skills to purple tier level that fit your build. The major changes planned for the 24th July in Korea could have a great impact on open beta progression, but it is very unlikely that we will get to experience it before Korean players. The open beta version of the game is going to be very likely to the current Korean version without the 3v3 arenas as it was released recently. On day 3 of open beta, every single player that created a character will most likely be given a level 50 boost and a full set of blue gear. This is to help speed up the leveling and progression and have as many players possible testing endgame systems. This is also not 100% confirmed as they might not give the level 50 boost due to Siege not being in the schedule. As a first time Throne of Liberty enjoyer, take your time to soak in everything. 6 days is enough time to try out literally everything the game has to offer in this faster hyper progression open beta. Open beta will very likely be a big marketing push for the game meaning content creators will be encouraged to stream on Twitch and will likely have Twitch drops that could potentially transfer into release. This is also not confirmed information, so take it with a grain of salt. Your character from open beta will not transfer into global release and it does not transfer on the current Korean version. Everything will be completely wiped when the open beta finishes. The game will progress fast, so solo players might find it hard to adapt as this hyper progression doesn't cater to solo playstyle. Even if you don't like socializing, trust me, just join a guild and experience mass PvP. It might change your mind. Take your time to try out both combat modes, classic and action mode. Classic mode is definitely superior in Throne Liberty due to how targeting works, but you can be an outcast like me and enjoy the action combat mode, which to me makes the game actually faster and more action packed. Maybe it is just placebo, I don't know, you tell me. If you are a PvE player, do not worry about learning mechanics for dungeons. Nobody cares as it is beta and you will have a chance to test all 6 tier 1 dungeons. Plus the game has a cross server matchmaking, so you won't need to LFG in chat anymore. But regardless of you being only a PvE player, I strongly encourage you to at least try PvP. I was a PvE hero myself in every MMORPG, but Throne of Liberty changed the way I feel towards small and large scale PvP, so this might have the same effect on you. If you find the leveling boring and after a few hours the gameplay becomes boring, do not fully quit. Come back on the third day of beta, use your max level boost and try the game again, fully geared in the endgame. Please do not make impressions about the whole game before you reach max level. Have an open mind, it might surprise you, and leveling doesn't take that long, 
especially in this hyper progression open beta. You can probably reach max level in literally few hours. Open beta is not under NDA, so you are free to share clips, screenshots and stream the game for your friends and community. If you don't know what to main, open beta offers a perfect time to test out every possible weapon combination and build. Just make sure you create as many characters as possible on every server as possible as you will most likely get max level 50 boost and full gear on all of them. You can then choose and properly test every build and weapon combination. But even if you don't get the max level 50 boost, the leveling should only take few hours and you can probably create a new character and start over and test a new build. Closed beta tests had many servers in each region, so do not worry too much about picking the high population server. It is very likely that most servers will have a high population and you can always restart on a new server and be max level in less than a day. Trona Liberty has a lot of graphical options, keybinds and various other settings like targeting options and editing HUD. Use this time to familiarize yourself with everything, adjust graphics, keybinds and HUD size to your liking and export these settings onto your PC so you don't have to redo them on release. If you enjoy having a perfect character, take your time to create one. The character customization has many options to create a very unique looking character. Best part is again the ability to export that character profile and have it ready for the release. The preload for the open beta will be available on the 16th July. And if you already participated in closed beta test and have it still downloaded on your PC, you might only need to update rather than downloading everything again. The best part is that a day after open beta ends, on the 24th, the new Hyper Boost server opens up in Korea. All you need to do is buy a verified account and a VPN to extensively test the game at your own pace and enjoy all the new updates and content Korea will have on the 24th of July. Throne and Liberty has a lot of haters and doomers that are very vocal on social media, spending their daily free time expressing hate and anger towards game everywhere. Open beta is free to play, it doesn't cost anything to try it out, and experience if those hate comments are even valid. It's the perfect time to test the game and form your own opinion. You might like it, it might not be for you, and that is okay, as long as you go in with an open mind and ignore the negative sentiment that the game has. Trona Liberty isn't perfect, it has issues. But in all honesty, the state of AAA gaming has been crap lately. And honestly, there isn't a better new MMORPG you can play anyways. Don't be a sheep, try the game, if you like it, Share your opinion and give feedback to the developers on how to improve it. And if you don't like it, I really hope you find a game that fulfills all your gaming expectations. If you have any questions or if I missed anything, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the Solisium.